Hi, Terry Malone here with CalvaryProphecy.com. You know, the Bible has a lot to say regarding uh, the phenomenon of the blaspheme of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if you've been watching on YouTube, but a number of people have been getting on uh, and recording their blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, denying God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Uh, it, you know, to me, uh, it's just a lack of understanding. And, uh, you know, the Bible predicted that this particular activity would take place in the last days. And I'm going to show you that where, that's, where that is in the Bible in just a few minutes. But first of all, I want to uh, put one thing to rest. You can't get up every single day and tell the Holy Spirit that you deny His presence, you deny His Spirit, and that you want nothing to do with Him. And that's for the rest of your days, in fact, until the day you die. Why? Because that's exactly what the Bible says. In fact, the Bible, the Bible verse that the Rational Response Squad, some of the others of this nature, are uh, quoting. Uh, there's actually two or three places in the Bible that indicates this verse. But we're going to look at the Mark 3, 28 and 29. It says, Verily I say unto you, All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness but is in danger of eternal damnation. I'm going to key on that last phrase which says, but is in danger of eternal damnation. You're not going to hell because you blaspheme the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost. And now you're getting closer. In other words, every day you get up and you say, Lord, I reject your Holy Spirit and the Son and what He did for me on the cross. You're, in a sense, rejecting the Holy Spirit because it's the Holy Spirit that presents salvation to every single living person on this earth and all and every day you deny that is one less day you have an opportunity to come to know the Lord and like I said you could get up every single day for the rest of your life and say Lord I deny your Holy Spirit but until you die you have not achieved damnation now you're in danger of damnation but you haven't achieved. And I just want to bring that about to you. You can know the Lord Jesus Christ today. Uh, whether, you've, uh, whether you've taken the blasphemy challenge or not, that's just one day. You have the rest of your life uh, to, to say yes to the Lord. So one time won't do it. But going, getting on, let's, let's move on to our topic. You may find it interesting to know that the Bible predicts this type of behavior of blaspheming the Holy Spirit to be a prevalent thing in the last generation. Uh, most Bible prophecy experts believe that when Israel became a nation again, that uh, pretty much kicked off the last generation before Jesus would come. And I believe that each and everybody, each and everyone who is watching this video will see the coming of the Lord and will view, and you'll have no excuse whether uh, to believe in God or, or not to believe in God. But let me read this right here. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. And it goes on to talk about a number of other things that will be a, a sign of the last days. In fact, that's found in 2 Timothy 3, 1 and 2. But you know, one of the good things about living in this last days, and one of the good things for you who have taken the blasphemy challenge, is that one day you will actually see God manifest himself in person to you and you may say well that, that's kind of strange well no the truth of the matter it is that's that's what's going to happen in fact it says in revelations 12 uh or sorry revelation 6 12 through 17 that man will actually see a vision of god when he rolls back the clouds and man will actually see him sitting on his throne and ask that the rocks and the mountains fall upon them and hide them from the face of god for they will know at that time that the wrath of God will be poured out upon the earth. And that will be a time when you who are on this earth, and I believe everyone who's watching this video will see and will be alive during that time. Uh, but that will be a time when God will show himself to you. You should also know that during this time that even the Antichrist will not tolerate any worship outside of himself. Uh, so you being an agnostic or an atheist, that will not be tolerated. Uh, the Antichrist will only allow worship of himself. Uh, so you can't stay neutral in any way. You have to, you'll have to worship either God or you'll have to worship the Antichrist. And uh, to, to worship God will mean death. So uh, you'll have to make a choice. Uh, but again, there will also be other times in which God will 
uh, send witnesses and things of that nature to uh, show you that he really does exist by signs and wonders. In fact, God will also send angels to the earth in which they will proclaim the gospel telling you not to take the mark of the beast but to worship God. Uh, these, are, these are some of the signs that uh, will show proof positive that God exists and uh, uh, there's no other way but through Christ. And this will be a sign that you will not be able to deny and that day is coming very quickly. Now I realize that there are going to be those who are, after viewing this video are just are not going to change and that's not going to make one difference or another at all. But there are those I believe who are going to be watching this video who are sincere and uh, I just want to put this challenge before you that the day when the day comes when you do see that God truly is real because that day is coming that you will turn to God that you will fall on your face before him and repent of your sins accepting Jesus as Lord of your life believing that he died on the cross uh, and, and just turn your life over to him because uh, that like I said that day is coming and uh, that's the message I wanted to bring about thank you well, thanks for watching this video and for listening to me. 